Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea and I have another word to release to you guys today. I just want to say I hope that you all are doing well and having a wonderful day today. Um, we're going to get into this word. I just want to thank everybody that supports my channel, likes, comments, subscribes, shares my videos, souls into my ministry. Thank you all very much. Um, I have been sick these past like six, six or seven days. And so thank you to everybody that has been keeping me in their prayers. All right. I'm not sick anymore. Thank God. Okay. Um, the weather is changing. So when the weather changed, I tend to get the flu or get allergies, you know, allergy season comes about. So um, I still push through even though I don't be feeling like it. Okay. Um, which leads me into the next thing that I was going to say. I may take a break after I, after I release these next few set of words because um god has been giving me dreams but i have not been able to remember them and the few that he gives me is still not everything okay so um i might have to rest and get out for a while but who knows god may still send me back up here because he does stuff like that but yeah the title of today's word is called it was a setup for you to be victorious okay it was a setup for you to be victorious now this dream is pretty detailed and complex so i'm going to break it down as i read it okay so that i can make sure that y'all get everything that is being said in this word okay so we're gonna hop right on into this in this dream my brother and i were watching a movie or going to go see one i believe he has suggested it to me I seen a part of the movie in this dream. There was a guy and it was just his face. His face was facing the side towards a clock. It was almost like it was a scary movie. This person had to blow on the clock at a certain time or blow correctly on it or it would end badly for him each time he would blow. So in the beginning of this dream, it was really me and God watching the movie, okay? It's like God is trying to show you a glimpse of your life. God is trying to show you in your life where you're going wrong and he's trying to help you correct it. He's trying to show you a glimpse of your mistakes where you're going wrong at so that he can help you get it right, okay? So the person's face represents you, okay? So the person having to blow on the clock at a certain time or blow correctly on it means that you have been missing the mark. You have been missing what God is trying to show you about your life. There is something that he's trying to get you to get right, and you've been getting it wrong, okay? You've been trying to blow. You've been trying to move forward. You've been trying to do the thing that he is asking of you, but you have either don't necessarily know all what you really are supposed to be doing, or you're kind of going in the wrong path, the wrong di direction, and God is trying to show you where you're going wrong so you can get on the right path, so you can blow correctly, so that you can walk in the right way that he wants you to go. There's a certain time that he wants you to do the thing, but maybe you're out of his timing on it. And so seek God more on that, but he's definitely saying that there's something that he wants you to get right in alignment with him and you just not getting it, okay? And so you'll know when you take that back to the Lord and allow him to minister to you what that looks like in your life, okay? So next in this dream, my brother was getting ready to be moved to Garland, Texas, because he let someone or something go. It was like a reward from God. He had moved up in the spirit realm. All right. So for some of you, there is someone or something that you have been holding on to. Whether that's a relationship, whether that's a business, whether that's a friendship, whatever this thing is. It, it can be multiple different things. But you've been holding on to it and God is saying your reward is waiting on you. Your reward is depending on you letting this person or this thing go. God has many blessings that he wants to give to you. But if you don't let this thing go or this person go, you're stopping your own self from receiving your reward, okay? And I know sometimes it may be hard to let people go that's in your life or it may be hard to get rid of certain things or certain habits or certain people, but God is saying your reward is waiting when your obedience kick in for you to let go of what he does not desire for you to have or who he does not desire to be in your life. And when you let that go, then you can get your reward, okay? And so the reason why that's so hard for some people is because of soul ties. Maybe if you are in a physical 
relationship with this person, meaning you're sleeping with them. It may be hard for you to let them go, but God is saying he has so much, so much in store for you if you would just be obedient. Don't you know that the rewards of God is better than what the world can offer you? It just is. What God can offer you, what God can give you is a hundred times better than what you think you're getting while you're in this relationship with this person. You're not living your best life. You're not living your best life. Okay? So rewards are waiting on you. All right, once you get an obedience and let that thing or that person go. Also, when it says, my dream says he had moved up in the spirit realm. So you taking this leap of obedience to let this person or this thing go is moving you up in the spiritual realm because you're getting stronger in the spirit by being able to just quickly let something go or quickly get rid of what the Lord is telling you to get rid of. Okay, you that 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 spiritual growth of you not being attached to people and things you need that in the world you need to be able to be not attached to people and things because we should only be attached to god okay there should be nothing that we are making idols in our lives there should not be things or people that we love so much that we can't let them go when god tells us to okay and so you moving up in the spirit is going to be a good thing because you're learning to lean on God and not be codependent on anybody else or just feel like you need to have this specific person or these specific things in your life. You get to move up in the spirit when you lean on only God to be your soul, you know, provider, comforter, friend, all of that. Okay. Next, I saw my brother talking to two girls from my childhood and they didn't like me. He was in his car and all three of them were going somewhere. They were talking to him about how they didn't like me. My brother ended up trying to explain to them my purpose and who I've become. They weren't trying to hear that. They wanted to believe what they wanted to believe about me. They said I was something to the effect of rude. All right. So that was the next part of the dream. Now, in this part of the dream, my brother is representing God. Okay. So... For whoever this part of the word is, you are operating your purpose. You're doing the thing that God has told you to do. It's very obvious to people of your past and people of your present who you are and the power that you hold. Okay, and so there are certain people in your past that have not changed very much or they have not um, gotten to the spiritual level that you are at and they feel some type of way about you because they want to keep looking at you from the past they want to keep looking at you from who they believed you were before even if those assumptions was wrong already <laughs> and so um god in this dream is what my brother was representing was trying to tell them who i am today okay and my purpose in christ and who i've become they still wanted to hold on to what they believed about me and who they thought i was in the past so God was in this car with them, okay, taking them on their own journeys, okay, and God is just highlighting the fact that there are going to be people in your past that it doesn't matter how much you grow, how much you glow, how much God is using you, even when God himself is trying to show them this is who you are, he's trying to show them this is my daughter, this is who she's become, my beloved child, they're still going to believe what they want to believe. And there's nothing that you can do about it, but just continue on walking in who God has called you to be. But he does want you to know that he is your, what do you call it? He de He's going to defend you against those that don't like you or have something to say about you. You don't even have to worry about them. They're on their own journey with God. And as they're on their own journey with God, he's going to show them who you are, whether they want to believe it or not. That's, that's their problem. But you are protected and God will defend you all the way, okay? Sorry, y'all. Somebody called me a couple of times while I was recording. So hopefully y'all heard what I said because I don't even remember where I was, where I was when, I, when they called. Okay, so in the next part of this dream, I saw my brother running down stairways. It was like a doctor's office and the stairs would go down and then turn go down, turn, and go down and onward. It was dark inside this building, but I was following him. He was running fast, and I would try to have to trace his steps down those stairs. This happened like two or three times, and whenever I would go to try to trace his steps down the stairs, there would be like a piece of plastic somewhere by the wall floor. 
that's how I knew I was going the right way. Again, it was dark in this place. Whenever I would get out from walking down all those stairs, there was an open door. And when you opened the door, it was outside and daytime. He would be sitting in his car waiting for me to come get in each time. Okay. So uh, my brother represents God in this part of the dream as well. So he was in the car waiting when I got out of this continuous cycle of running down these stairs and it was dark okay and i'm trying to follow him in this darkness what god is saying is that there is a certain setup that has happened in your life or has you know occurred many times to where it's set up for you to be victorious it was strategically done by god okay god gave me psalms 23 and 4 and it reads yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for you are with me your rod and your staff they comfort me and so at the end of this dream whenever i was getting out of this darkness from the going down this stairway and these cases of stairs there was a door and when you open the door god was in the car waiting for me to get in so to take me to the next level to take me to the next place that he wanted to take me okay it was like he was waiting for me to walk his way okay the steps that was ordered for me this place of darkness it was ordered by god it was a setup for me to be victorious and though it was dark he left something in there a piece of plastic on the floor so that i can know i was going the right way so god is never not giving you um instructions he's never not leading you into the right direction he's always going to help you come out and be victorious even though this is a setup because the thing is, God has to put you through certain places and certain things so that he can build you to be who he wants you to be. So it may look dark. It may look like this is the enemy, but sometimes it's not the enemy. It's clearly God setting you up to be victorious. And I went through this about three times, I believe, two or three times. It was like two or three times what has happened. And so um, God is going to test you. God is going to put you in certain valleys and places of darkness, but he's not going to leave you in the process. He's going to leave a trail for you to follow to something for you to hang on to so that you can get to the other side. When I opened the door, it was sun shining. It was daytime, but you couldn't tell that it was daytime while I was in this place. Okay. And so this place, like I said, it was like a doctor's office. Okay. So the doctor's office represents being in God's will. Okay. So this doctor's office is, is, is God set up, like I said, orchestrated by God. And so though you may be going through hardships and it may look like the enemy is attacking you right now, actually, this is God setting you up to be victorious. There are certain things that you just have to go through for God to build you up in his kingdom so that when it's time for you to fight off the kingdom of darkness with where he's sending you or with, with who he's sending you with, you can be victorious because you didn't pass this test. You didn't been victorious over this. You're going to remember what God took you through, all these stairways and these loops and turns in this place of darkness, in this valley of darkness that you were in, you're going to remember how you made it out and how you were victorious. So when the stuff tries to come up by the enemy, when the things try to attack you in the new territories and places that you're going, you're going to be able to be victorious because God has already given you victory when it was testing ground. God already gave you victory when he did it to set you up to be victorious. Okay. And so God just wants you to know that he is your rod and your staff and he will comfort you through this darkness, through this season, maybe you are going through a transition season, okay? And it's orchestrated by God because now is the time for you to be built up so that you can be operating in the thing that he called you to operate in so that you can be bold, okay? And fearless against the enemy, all right? And God is saying, when you get out of this place, his light is gonna be shining, okay? bright you'll see daylight you'll see his glory shining okay and you will continue to follow him getting in the car letting him be the driver okay you sit in the back seat and you let god be the driver of your life and let him take you to the next destination let him let him take you to the next place okay because there's more levels there's more places that he wants to take you there's more things that the lord wants to do with you god is good like he says his plans for us is to give us a hope in a future like 
God already planned our lives out way from the beginning. Before we were even born, he already planned our lives out. Like, God ain't sitting around just, like, bored and, 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 and thinking about, oh, what I need to do for her next. It's already been planned out. It's already been set up, okay? And this place of darkness and this time of darkness that you may be in, that you feel like, dang, this ain't, this ain't right. You feeling like, I'm going through too much. This can't be God. It is him, okay? It is him because... He wants you to be a warrior for Christ. He wants you to be trampling over the enemy and crushing the serpent's head when he takes you to this new place. When you get in this car, okay, and you see God's glory shining, when you see daylight, you know you have made it and you have, made, and you have been victorious. Now you get to go on a different kind of ride, okay? And so just know that it was a setup for you to be victorious, okay? Continue to keep your faith and continue to be strong. Continue to submit yourself. This is not the enemy. This is a setup from God so that you can be strong, so that you can be equipped, all right? So, yeah, just know that there's light at the end of this, okay? When you open the door, there's light and glory shining, and God is going to be there with you waiting to take you to the next place, take you to the next destination. So, that's all that I have for you guys in this word today. Make sure you take it back to the Lord. Um, I feel led to say the Lord loves you so much. The Lord loves you so much. Yeah. Yeah, the Lord loves you so much. So just continue to press forward and knowing that God is your comfort and he is with you. He is with you, okay? I will see y'all in the next video and y'all have a blessed day. Bye.